Hi everybody, this is Stephanie from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns LLC. I have Mariah Carey with me. She's our doe who was bred on May 5th. We have a video of the breeding with Arthur and he's in the background on our channel. And she's due around June 5th. So make sure to hit the subscribe button, press the bell, that way you get all the videos that we offer about Angora rabbits. In this video, we're gonna explain the five things that a pregnant rabbit needs. So one of the first things is a place to actually have the babies. A rabbit will scratch and they'll dig, they're gonna move all their contents, everything in their pen, they'll move it all around and they want an environment that they're gonna be safe in. They want um, some place that they can have their baby bunnies in. So this is just a wooden nest box, the first thing. And this nest box has, uh, we took the bottom out of the nest box. Um, there's some that have a bottom in it. Definitely in winter time, this is not, you're gonna want a bottom in your nest box. But they come in metal, they come in cardboard. Um, in a pinch, you can actually use a cardboard box for your bunny to to have babies in if it's something where you're caught off guard and you didn't know your rabbit was pregnant. So the second thing your doe needs is she actually needs nesting materials. And there's a lot of different nesting materials that you can use. We, you can use hay, you can use straw. If you're... Um, if you're lacking hay and straw for whatever reason, if there's some reason why you can't get it, you can actually use cut up cattails, you can use cut up pine cones, you can use just dried grass from your lawn. There's all sorts of things that you can actually use. Dried dandelion plants are another option. And uh, one of the things you want to avoid is you want to avoid uh, moist plants, so plants with moisture in them, and that might be avoiding actually putting fresh grasses or putting, you don't want to put lettuce, for example, in a rabbit nest box because that has too much moisture, and when you have too much moisture, you have the potential for mold and you have the potential for bacteria to grow, and those are things that you do not want with your baby bunnies. The third thing that you need for your pregnant rabbit is fresh water. And so we have one water bottle right here, but we actually have this space that if we wanted to, we could add additional rabbit water bottles. And Angora rabbits certainly need access to a lot of fresh water because water helps keep wool block away. It helps keep everything going. And Angora rabbits have that special concern with wool block, but uh, all rabbits need water and especially when pregnant the needs the water intake increases because there's additional bunnies to care for in the mom's body the fourth thing is balanced feed and so when you think about balanced feed you think about what is the nutrient content of the feed what is the protein what is the fiber because when a doe is pregnant, their, their actual um, nutritional needs increase. They're feeding more rabbits. Just like with a human, the nutritional needs change. So Mariah Carey's nutritional needs have changed. She, we, she's believed to be pregnant. And uh, so we want to make sure that not only are we feeding her pellets, we're feeding her the pelleted food, but that the fiber content and the protein content are high enough. Because again, when you have an Angora rabbit who's pregnant, an Angora rabbit is not just uh, growing the babies, they're still growing their wool. So it's a little a little bit different when you have an Angora, a pregnant Angora rabbit because they're, they're growing even more. So water is extremely important. The balanced feed is extremely important. You can still feed your pregnant rabbit treats. We have uh, dandelions that we fed, and there's all sorts of different things that uh, we've put in there for her to chew on. Right now she's chewing on a dried um, cattail stalk. Just gives her something to do, something to chew on. Rabbits need to chew. The final thing that a pregnant rabbit needs is a safe, calm place to live while she's pregnant. So Mariah Carey is used to living in our outdoor structure for our bunnies. However, 
the outdoor structure isn't quiet. You can hear the cars going past and there's, uh, there's other bunnies, there's who knows what's going on. Sometimes there's sirens. When Mariah Carey gets a little bit closer, I set up the inside of the house to have a maternity ward. So what that means is I actually take our exercise pin and I take a very large um, pan. This one needs to be cleaned out. But I take a very large pan that's used as a litter box, bring the nest box in and put it in the house for Mariah Carey to kindle and have her babies. So you want to avoid any loud noises. You really want to include anything new, anything novel. This is not the time to be introducing lots of people to your rabbit or to start a brand new socialization program. Being pregnant is hard work and it's any additional stress is really not welcome by your doe. You want to support your doe by making her feel safe. She should not have to worry about predators. She shouldn't have to worry about being thirsty. She shouldn't have to worry about being hungry, where to build her nest, where to get her nesting materials from. She should have to worry about absolutely none of these things. And Mariah Carey spends a bit more time laying down when she is pregnant. Hi, Arthur. Arthur's a very proud dad. But Mariah Carey spends a little bit more time laying down when she is pregnant, and that's a, um, a good indication that she's, she's going to have babies. So those are the five things that you need to do, you need to have set up, if you want to have a good, successful rabbit pregnancy. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you guys in our next video.